Eliezer, you're one of the pioneers of this kind of AI risk research. So what made you take that and decide, I need to write a book about this? Well, we tried a whole lot of things besides writing a book, and you really want to try all the things you can if you're trying to prevent the utter extinction of humanity. And, and tell me what you mean by that, because when you say we're close to extinction, and Nate, feel free to jump in here too, how far are we from that? What's the timeline here? Uh, it's really hard to tell this sort of thing in science. You know, Many scientists have made correct predictions about what would happen at some point. Many fewer of them are famous for getting the timing exactly right. If you listen to the AI companies, they say we're two to three years off. But should we believe them about that? I wouldn't. Two to three years off from what? Uh, from AI that is generally smarter than humans. Smarter, perhaps in a sense, than humanity itself. AI that is actually smart, that can build its own technology, that can do all the things. Uh, from their perspective, it's uh, something that could replace a lot of people and a lot of jobs, but uh, some of them really do mean the part where it's actually smarter than us. And we don't think that they know what they're doing, and we think that that's on setting us on course for disaster. Nate, how does this kind of superhuman AI, super intelligence, compare to the kind of chatbots many of us use every day, a chat GPT type thing? Yeah, it's a, it's a different technology. It's a technology that these companies are racing towards. It's their explicit stated goal. They, uh, chatbots are a stepping stone. They didn't set out to make chatbots. They are, are rushing to build smarter and smarter AIs. We don't know exactly when they'll get there, but we don't know that it won't be soon.